Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net. Thank you for um, subscribing to this channel. Um, make sure you do if you have not already. And this week's question is, why do some vegans and vegetarians not eat onion and garlic? This is a really good one because I get this, I get asked this quite a lot. Um, in Asia, this is mostly, this is quite predominant. And um, even in Australia, you, I'm sure you would have noticed at some restaurants you might have gone to, like the Loving Hut restaurants in particular and other restaurants run by Chinese, Vietnamese, um, Indian people. So there, there's lots of signs. I know at my local um, Loving Hut, there's signs that say no onion or garlic or that you can have them without it. And um, this includes a lot of Hare Krishna restaurants, Indian, Hindu, Chinese, and particularly Buddhist restaurants. Um, I've seen a lot of people that give the option if you want to choose to not have garlic or onion. And I've seen a lot of restaurants that just simply have no garlic or onion. Um, a lot of the information I got for this video is from a website called Cooking with Koma, and it's koma.net if you want to have a look. Um, and in Ayur Ayurvedic, which is um, an ancient Indian medicine, it's actually classed um, as a type of a food category. So there's three different food categories. Uh, one is sattvic, one is rajastic, and one is tamastic. Hope I said those right. And foods, all these different food types relate to goodness, which is sattvic, passion, which is rajastic, and ignorance, which is tamaris, tam, tamasic. And sattvic foods are vegetarian, they're fresh, they're light foods, and they help clear the mind. Um, onions, garlic, and nightshade vegetables like um, eggplants, tomatoes, and peppers, or capsicums, Canned fruits, chilies, pickled fermented foods, all salts and sugars are common rajastic foods. So in excess of these foods, it can make someone too competitive um, and it increases passion and ignorance. So uh, rajastic and tamastic foods are also unfit to give to a deity. So um, if you give a, an offering or something to the deity they, do, they don't really like that so f in particular um, for Indians and followers of Lord Vishnu Rama and Krishna and a big reason that a lot of other religions follow um, not eating uh, onion and garlic as well for example Tao, Buddhist, Jains and Hindus is um, because it's detrimental to meditation and to their devotions and consuming these products is said to take you further away from a clear brain and calm spirit and further away from enlightenment. So for people that um, devote a lot of their time to meditation and to praying, this is a, a very serious matter. Um, onion and garlic, it can induce passion, including anger and lust. And garlic is a natural aphrodisiac of all things. Um, these are massive distractions to seriously religious followers. Um, if, you, if you heard me mention the Jains before, they're a really interesting religion because they follow a vegan path and they also, um, other, as well as onion and garlic, they also avoid potatoes and even carrots because when you actually um, take these vegetables, you have to pull them from the ground with the roots and so that actually kills the plants instead of some plants you just pick something off and then it still and it grows back you're pulling the whole plant out thus killing the plant so they don't eat anything that comes from the ground and um, said online that Hindus used to do this but it's changed over the years and garlic and onion it's used in a lot of cooking a lot of people use it because it kills bad bacteria but it also kills the good bacteria which is um, pro essential for proper digestion Reiki practitioners, they also explain that garlic and onion, tobacco, alcohol and prescription drugs are the first substances to be expelled from a person's system when they're treating them. And um, keep in mind that onions and garlic are both vegetables and harm none of our animal friends. So from is it a vegan sort of thing, uh, definitely onion and garlic is a vegan food you can definitely 
um, consume it if you like, unless you're a Jain a person and you follow that religion, unless you follow another religion or a deity that they do, do not agree with consuming these things. Um, and you have to, you just have to work out whether or not you follow those things or if you want to become clearer or um, really focused on your meditative practices. And yeah, good luck with that. Namaste.